Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just got back in from going on a walk outside and while I was on that walk, I had a thought come to me. And I wanted to come in here and make a quick video for you guys because I think this is so important. So this video, I'm gonna teach you who the very first person you should hire as an insurance agent. Some of you may be thinking, why would I need to hire somebody? I'm just an insurance agent, that's my job. If that's what you think, then this channel is not for you. This channel is really for entrepreneurs and we cater to insurance agents. And the people that I'm talking to and the people that I want to help are insurance agents that really want to build a business. They understand that they are their own boss, they are their own business owner, and when that happens, you really need to hire somebody. It becomes very important that you need to hire somebody even before you're ready to hire somebody because when you can hire someone, it frees up your time to do the thing that actually makes you money, which is sell. So you're the salesperson in your business. So the first person you need to hire is not a salesperson, it's somebody else. And I'm gonna go over who that person is, what exactly the tasks they should be doing for you to outsource you, save you money and time, and then also what type of person you should be looking for and exactly how to train them on what they need to be doing. Really, what I wanted to do with this video is teach you guys the importance of hiring somebody, why that's important, who we're looking for, what tasks they're gonna be doing, and how to train them. First of all, let's go over the importance of hiring somebody. This is extremely, extremely important to your success. If you wanna be a business owner, if you wanna grow your insurance business, insurance agency into something other than you being an employee for somebody else. And you really need to hire somebody before you're ready to do it. And I know that that sounds scary and I know that like the thought of giving up your money to somebody else is not something that everybody wants to do, but it's something that as a business owner, you have to understand that you need to be spending your time on one maybe two activities in your business and that's it. If you wanna get really, really good at your business and you wanna scale it to the next level, you cannot be doing 50 different things. You can't be the accountant, you can't be the salesperson, you can't be the CFO, you can't be the administrator, you can't be HR, you can't do all those things. You can really only do one thing and you have to outsource the rest of it to somebody that can do it better than you and if they can't do it better than you, if you're a 10, at least look for a seven or an eight. So that way you're gonna free your time up to do what works best for you and what makes you the most money. And as an insurance agent, that's selling. And also, if you're the type of insurance agent or you're currently an insurance agent that you know you wanna build a business and maybe you're not good at selling and maybe you haven't had a ton of success, but a lot of my videos you enjoy and cater to you because you like the entrepreneurship side of it, understand that you can build an insurance agency without being good at insurance. If you're good at marketing, if you're good at getting people in the door and you can hire a salesperson, you're gonna be the leader. You're gonna be able to start this business and that's a skill that you can do and you can grow and you can build this business no matter what people tell you. Because that advice that I just gave you, being the entrepreneur, being the builder, Older, being the creator in an insurance agency, no one else out there is telling you to do that. No one else out there is telling you you can do that because everybody else that has built an agency has come from the grassroots selling, starting things up from the bottom and they don't want somebody from the outside coming in that understands marketing, that understands how to be a good business owner but maybe just isn't great at sales. And that isn't something that you need to do in order to run a successful business or a successful insurance business or successful insurance agency. So if anybody's telling you that, don't listen to that. Just wanted to get that out there for you. But uh, the rest of this video is gonna be focused on if you are a good salesperson, if you're an insurance agent that likes to sell and that's what you wanna do, who you're gonna hire first and what tasks they're gonna be doing. Let's, let's talk about the tasks first. So you can hire somebody at about $12 to $15 an hour. You can, you can pay them less, but really I think that that's a good wage to hire somebody. And let's think of the things that they're gonna be doing. So if we think about a typical insurance agent, the pers first person you'll see people hire is an appointment setter. Now if you like to set your appointments, don't do this. But if you don't like to set your appointments and you find that dialing and setting appointments is kind of a waste of time for you because you could actually just be out doing the appointments, then let's have that be one of the very first things. So we're gonna put appointment setter here. Okay, but let's talk about this. This is where a lot of people make their very first mistake. They hire somebody and they pay them commission in a way or like a per appointment basis. And that's not a good use of this person. That's just one thing that they can do, but they can be doing a lot more things. So instead of paying them that or solely paying them that way, you can do a combination of like a salary or an hourly mixed with 
paying them per appointment, but let's not have them do just one thing. Let's add a lot more tasks so that you can have them working full time and you can outsource a lot more things. So appointment center, um, let's talk about admin stuff. So what does that include? Uh, keeping up with clients, Um, that's going to be checking apps. Um, that's going to be oh, all the checking apps. It's going to that's going to be like checking them in underwriting, see if there's any questions from the carriers, keeping up with the carriers, um, managing your email. Social so any of your social media profiles, have them post on there, have them answer questions for you. All right, so we've got appointment setter, we've got admin, that's gonna take up quite a bit for you. Now let's talk about one thing that's really, really important here. And if you haven't paid attention, all of my videos have to do with marketing. And I stress in every single video how important it is for you as the business owner to control your marketing in-house, to control it. Uh, if, you're, if you're just an employee working for somebody else and you want to buy leads and that's all you want to do, completely fine. But if you want to be the entrepreneur going to the next level, building an agency or at least just doing big numbers, you need to be controlling your advertising. Now, a lot of my students, they learn to control their advertising, but then understand that this takes time and they'd much rather sell. They understand that controlling their marketing and advertising is a very important thing and they need to do it, but they also just wanna be selling. And this is also one of the biggest fears I see when I talk to people on the phone about joining my program. They'll tell me, I don't think I have time for it, or I just wanna be selling, that's all I wanna be doing. I don't wanna become a marketer, I don't wanna learn all this stuff. And believe me, I understand that, but when it comes to this, your options are control your advertising, or be held hostage to a lead vendor and never be able to reach that level that you want to reach. So at the end of the day, you're going to have to figure out how to control your advertising. As I said, some of my students, they've gotten to the point where they don't want to do it anymore, which is understandable. And I also have people coming to me, they want to do it, but their biggest fear is that they don't have time. You have two options here. One is you can go out and you can find a marketing company that specializes in insurance or you could find one that doesn't specialize in insurance and, and they're not even gonna get you results. So I'm not gonna put that as an option. So you can find a marketing person or a marketing company to outsource this to. And that's gonna probably be at a bare minimum three th or $1,000 a month. And it's probably more than likely gonna be closer to $2,000 to $3,000 a month. And that doesn't include ad spend. So then you have to pay Facebook on top of that. You're going out there and you're paying this marketing company or this marketing person a premium because they've already learned the knowledge or so they've told you. You can do that, that works pretty well for a lot of people, but I'm gonna propose an alternative option here for you guys. So this is for people that want to control their advertising and don't have time or have already started control their advertising, but they wanna figure out how they can spend more of their time selling. This person right here, you're paying them 12 to $15 an hour. They're already doing appointment setting for you. They're doing admin for you. So they've taken a whole bunch of work off of your plate, but that's probably not gonna keep them actually busy for 40 hours a week. So let's give them one more thing to do. Marketing slash advertising. Now, okay, you're thinking, if I'm gonna hire somebody that already knows how to do marketing, and be completely honest, to hire somebody that's already an expert in this stuff, yearly salary is probably gonna be somewhere between like 50 to 80,000 or higher, depending on how good they are. But here's my alternative situation. If you go out and hire a marketing company, or if you go hire somebody that says that they know how to do marketing, they, they've already gotten to the point where they're gonna charge you a premium, you're gonna have to pay them a lot, but you don't know that they know what they're doing. You have no way of knowing that they're gonna get you results, and you have to go through this testing phase with them, and so you're paying this really high premium, $1,000 to $3,000 for the first one or two months to start getting results. If they're really good, you'll get results off the, like the next day, but that's not gonna happen with everybody. And then potentially you're gonna find that if they aren't very good, then you've just wasted a whole bunch of money and you're down the hole and you don't have any control over your advertising. You just still don't have access to the ads. 
they possibly messed up your Facebook ad account, a whole bunch of things that could have gone wrong. Now here's the alternative. You can already take this person and you're paying 12 to $15 an hour. You can take them, have them learn how to do Facebook ads, YouTube ads, and any type of marketing that you want to do. Have them learn it for your business and train them how to do it. If you know how to do it, all you have to do is train them on what you already know. It's, it's in-house. You're doing the marketing in-house. So this is the best way that you can do it. Now, if you've been wanting to get into my program, if you've been wanting to learn how to control your ads, we have students that come through all the time. They don't have time for it. They come in, they buy the program, they go hire somebody for $12 an hour and they have that person go through my training. That person goes through my training in one week. They are now the best Facebook ads marketer for insurance in their area. And now you have them working for you, implementing the strategies that are working for 12 to $15 an hour. Not to mention, they're also doing all this other stuff for you. So that's my biggest advice with this. If you've been feeling like you don't have time to do advertising or control it, it's not a matter of do it or don't do it. If you want to get to that next level, you have to do it. You have to learn this yourself. You don't have to go through a mentor. You don't have to go through my program. You don't have to do any of that. It helps, saves you a lot of time and money, but if you want to just go out and figure it out on yourself or have somebody else figure it out on your, their self, that's fine. But at the end of the day, if you want to get to that next level, if you want to be a big agency, this type of stuff has to be in-house or you're not going to succeed. I'm giving you a very, very good option and alternative to have somebody come in. They're potentially going to take appointments off your plate. They're going to take this admin work. So you don't have to worry about your CRM. You don't have to worry about any of your software. You don't have to worry about emails. You don't have to worry about keeping up with social. You don't have to worry about anything. And now, add marketing and advertising to their plate, take somebody that already has these skills, put them through a course, have them learn for one week, and now they're very, very skilled in this as well, but you don't have to pay the premium that you would have to pay if you hired somebody that already knew this. And the other thing that comes with hiring a marketing and agency or marketing person is typically they're very, very confident, almost to a point of being cocky. And when that happens, they extremely overcharge for their services, some people can get the results to justify it, but a lot of the ones out there can't. And so going about it this way, hiring somebody, having them go through a training program to have them then be at a peak level of advertising and marketing, and now you're getting that for $12 to $15 an hour. That's my best advice for you guys. If you can see this, if you can see how much this is gonna take off of your plate so that you can then go focus on selling, and then once this person gets really good at marketing and advertising and they're generating more leads than you can work, your next job, like I said, as the entrepreneur, as the business owner, you really wanna to get to the point where you can outsource everything. And actually, let's add, we add accounting onto this too so you can teach them how to do QuickBooks or you can have an accountant. That way you're literally only focusing on sales. But as I was saying, I digress. As the business owner, you really only want to focus on one thing and that's how you scale. The rest, you outsource to people and you teach them how to do it so you don't have to think about it and so that you can get really, really, really good at the thing that brings money into your business. Now, I also said at the beginning, it can be one and possibly even two things. So, what I was saying is once this person gets to the point where they're generating more leads than you can handle, your next task that you're going to do is you're going to start hiring other agents and you're going to spend your time selling and you're going to spend your time training. And then from there, you just continue to scale until you're at the point where you're making as much money as you want, you're as big as you want, or you just continue to scale. All right, guys, I hope you understand this. I hope you can see the importance of outsourcing, the importance of hiring before you're ready to do it. It allows you to put more time into the money making activities in your business, which is the only place you should be putting your time. And yeah, I really hope this helps you guys get this thought process going, getting some more productivity in your business. And I hope you guys have your businesses explode. And I hope this ends up being a great year for you guys. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments. I will answer those as soon as I can. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you want to, go ahead, leave a like on this video. Please subscribe, that helps me out quite a bit. And as always, if you guys wanna learn more about my training program, it's called Insurance Advertising Masters. It's gonna teach you how to control your advertising in your business, bring everything in-house so you're not relying on lead vendors who have different goals than you, marketing companies that maybe don't know how to do this properly for whatever insurance type you're trying to do. You just bring it in-house, you learn how to do the advertising yourself, and you're just gonna start scaling and growing from there. All right, guys. Thanks. See you on the next one.